guys, it's Christina from Redefine Creative, and I am back with another process video for Spiegel Mom Scraps. And I am going to be working on this layout of my son's baseball team, all kind of sitting around the coach, getting a little pep talk and some information from him. And this is at the very end of one of their practices. And we are also still working with Creative Embellishments this month as a collaboration with Spiegel Mom Scraps. So I'm going to be using this amazing chipboard border that has the hearts with the heartbeat in between. Um, so I have pulled out a ton of scraps and I have also pulled out this wood grain paper and this is an old paper from Webster's Pages. And then I have also grabbed a bunch of my new goodies from the Coco Vanilla Wild at Heart collection. And this is definitely a more feminine collection and so today I'm going to be showing you how to kind of make that work with a boy layout. And so I'm going to take this photo of my son and I'm matting it just on this kind of burnt uh, reddish color of cardstock. And you can see that I took a bunch of my pattern papers and created just some arrows. So I made a template with a black piece of cardstock. And then I just cut, cut some triangles in two different sizes. So this is a look that's kind of been popular lately that I've seen different people using where they're creating this kind of border element with triangles. And so I decided to give it a try. And so here you see I'm going through the ephemera pack and this is from that Coco Vanilla collection. And I am pulling out a bunch of the embellishments that have the blue families in them. So any of the different things that I think will work on this page that all kind of go with this um, blue theme that I have going on. And that's a really easy way to take a collection like this that's much more feminine and come up with a male look to it. So if you go through and kind of just pull out the elements that have all different shades of blue, when you put them together, as you'll see on this layout, when you put them all together, it creates a, a really neat masculine look. <coughs> I apologize for that cough, guys. Yes, the cough is still going. We're at like a month now. Um, and if you have noticed, or if you're a fan of my channel, you've noticed that it has been a little bit more quiet lately than usual. Um, I'm not sure if you know if I mentioned it before, but we are in the process of moving. And so I have been doing much more packing of boxes and unpacking of boxes and trying to get us settled in a new house. So my channel has been a little bit quiet, and I apologize for that. There was really not a whole lot that I could do about it, unfortunately. Um, but I am almost getting to the point where my new craft room is ready, and I will be back to normal and creating tons of videos to kind of make up for this gap that has happened. So definitely make sure you have subscribed and stay tuned. Um, so there you see I've taken some chipboard stars, and I'm going to add those all around. But I decided to go back and take some white gesso and some navy Heidi Swap color shine and add a little bit of detail to the background. And it is very subtle. I did a very thin layer of white gesso just to add some interest to where my embellishments were going to be. And you can see that a lot better in the close-ups. And then I'm going ahead and creating kind of two clusters around my photo. So one of them is going to be on that top edge um, towards the left side. And then I also have this embellishment cluster down here in the bottom right-hand corner. <coughs> and I'm keeping in mind this entire time, my title is going to run along the bottom of my photo. So I know that I'm going to be adding a lot more detail down there on the bottom. And I really like how this all came together. So I went ahead and took that piece of chipboard and cut just a little piece of it. And then I have a piece of wax paper I've been playing with the letters I want to use. So I've pulled out these white foam thickers. And then I also pulled out a Felicity Jane alphabet, and it's a really pretty light blue color with some white pinstriping through it. And so that's what I'm going to end up using for my title. So then I'm going to go ahead and grab some glue in my fine line bottle, and this is just a uh, Scotch quick dry adhesive. And I'm going to use that to go ahead and attach all of my wood veneer. And it works amazingly well on these little details, and it is really, really sticky. So the things that I've used this quick line ad um, adhesive on or this um, quick dry adhesive in that fine line bottle definitely stays well adhered to the page. So I am placing down that piece of chipboard that my title letters are going to go on top of. And then off screen, you see that I went ahead and added all those stickers. So my title is going to be Play With Heart. And now I'm going to go back and add the, all of these wood veneer stars. And I'm just kind of scattering them throughout my triangle border, as well as throughout my embellishment cluster. So I kind of have a bigger and a smaller little star on each one of those triangle clusters. 
And then I also have clustered them in threes with the stars around my two embellishment clusters. So I like to do everything in threes, but I also like to vary the size. So around my two embellishment clusters, I have those bigger outline stars. And then I'm also going to have two different sizes of the smaller stars <coughs> that also go into those clusters. And so you kind of see me adding all that detail right now. And then I am also going to go ahead and take the Spiegel Mom Scraps. Um, this is one of the newer collections called Pandora's Ombre. And it is all different shades of blue. And it is amazing. If you do boy layouts, you absolutely need this pack of sequins. Because it is perfect. So I am leaving the star. There's some little flowers that are inside the sequin pack. I'm leaving those in the pack. And I am pulling out the bright blue and the light blue. And then I'm going to go ahead and kind of just scatter those throughout my border element over here on the, on the side. And then I'm also going to add them to my two different embellishment clusters that I have going on around my photo. As well as a little bit down there next to my title. So this was an important story that I wanted to tell in my son's scrapbook. I was just <coughs> taking a picture of his team. They're having this little team meeting that they do after every practice and game where the coach kind of talks to them not only about what they're doing well or what they need to work on, but also kind of talks to them about life lesson things. So things that are, are important to them as far as sportsmanship and playing with heart, their behavior on the field and off the field. And so those are really messages that it's important for me to document that this coach and this team are reinforcing things that are beliefs of our family and kind of things that the boys hear us say as well. So there you see I've added some of those little um, stickers from the Cocoa Vanilla sticker sheet. And they just say, be bold, precious to me, and believe in yourself. And then I am going to take um, a gray uh, Statler Fineliner pen. And I'm going to add just underneath a little bit of journaling. And the journaling just says, may the lessons you learn on the ball field translate through to the rest of your life. And this is a message that is really important to me that these these skills and life lessons he's learning through sports are things that we make a really big effort to apply to the rest of the rest of our lives. And so then I did go back and add a few more sequins and little stars around my journaling to kind of tie it all together. And that is going to do it for this layout. So please do make sure that you like and subscribe so that I can keep bringing you videos as I am almost done with my new craft room and I can't wait to be back full time with you guys again. We'll see you again soon. Bye.